Hey everyone, back for another installment of Frog and Toad. Okay, so we were talking about the characters of this story. Remember, this is another story, whoops, let's see, from this book called Frog and Toad Together. And it's about these two best friends, Frog and Toad, who are opposites, but it works out well for them. And the next story is called The Garden. And it's kind of a funny one. There's a little misunderstanding with this one. Toad gets a little bit confused. Let's see if you can figure out how, how does Toad get confused in this story. Okay, here we go. The garden. <clears throat> Frog was walking in his garden. Toad came walking by. What a fine garden you have, Frog, he said. Yes, said Frog. It is very nice, but it was hard work. I wish I had a garden, said Toad. Here are some flower seeds. Plant them in the ground, said Frog, and soon you will have a garden. How soon, said Toad. Quite soon, said Frog. Toad ran home. He planted the flower seeds. Now seeds, said Toad, start growing. Toad walked up and down a few times. The seeds did not start to grow. Toad put his head close to the ground and said loudly, Now seeds, start growing! Toad looked at the ground again. The seeds did not start to grow. Well, how come the seeds aren't growing? Hmm. Toad put his head very close to the ground and shouted, Now seeds, start growing! Frog came running up the path. What is all this noise, he asked. My seeds will not grow, said Toad. You are shouting too much, said Frog. These poor seeds are afraid to grow. My seeds are afraid to grow, asked Toad. Of course, said Frog. Leave them alone for a few days. Let the sun shine on them. Let the rain fall on them. Soon your seeds will start to grow. That night, Toad looked out of his window. Drat, said Toad. My seeds have still not started to grow. They must be afraid of the dark. Toad went out to his garden with some candles. I will read my seeds a story, said Toad. Then they will not be afraid. Toad read a long story to his seeds. Is that really what they need? Is this really what's happening? Are they really afraid to grow? Do they really need a story? How come the seeds haven't grown yet? All the next day, Toad sang songs to his seeds. And all the next day, Toad read poems to his seeds. And all the next day, Toad played music for his seeds. Is that what the seeds need? Toad looked at the ground. The seeds still did not start to grow. <laughs> what shall I do, cried Toad. These must be the most frightened seeds in the whole world. Then Toad felt very tired and he fell asleep. Toad, Toad, wake up, said Frog. Look at your garden. Toad looked at his garden. Little green plants were coming up out of the ground. At last, shouted Toad, my seeds have stopped being afraid to grow. And now you will have a nice garden too, said Frog. Yes, said Toad, but you were very right, Frog. It was hard work. Okay, what? Hold on, oh, cookies. We'll read cookies tomorrow, but let's talk about this for a second. Uh, Toad thinks that it was hard work because he had to do all these things. He sang songs and he read poems and he played music. What did all he really need to do, though, for his seeds after he planted them? I'm not gonna tell you, you decide. Tell somebody that's sitting in the same room. What, what did the seeds just really need to grow? All right, and tomorrow we're gonna read cookies. All right, take care everyone, bye.